Yo, what is up everybody and welcome to a special edition of Madden 16 Top 10 Plays of the Year. And we're starting off with Bobby Wagner in overtime. User pick, but that's not all we have in store today. Oh, spin move of dreams. Bobby Wagner walk off touchdown in OT. Does it get any better than that? Well, apparently it does because there's nine other plays after this one. All these top 10 plays are from previous installments of top Top 10 plays of the week episodes and now we have one final edition of top 10 plays of the year you guys requested it and it's definitely a cool idea that i wanted to bring to you guys as we move on to play number nine simply called 109 why not because this is a 109 yard field goal this one misses in the rain but darren sproles is taking it from his own end zone and he's trying to flip the score big time sproles whoop the little man doing big things it's a 109 yard touchdown but when you check the score it's a lot more or when you check the yardage he actually ran around juking around a lot more than 109 yards so all these top 10 plays that you guys are seeing it's a mix of great moves great stick work and also just rare plays stuff you don't see every single day like you don't see kicks return 109 yards. You don't see Bobby Wagner user picks. So that's what the top 10 plays of the year episode is all about. As we move on to play number 8. The great 8. That's Dante Culpepper from his own end zone. QB keeper. And ooh. Eat that stiff arm. Dante Culpepper right before halftime. He's going all the way. And look at this. He's celebrating way early. He knows he's got it in the bag before he's even at the 30 yard line. What a play like i said a mix of plays you don't see often like a qb keeper from the one yard line who even thinks of doing things like that apparently this guy we move on to play number seven creative and devastative no time left right before halftime god chuck up a hail mary you know like triple coverage it's gonna be really really cool if you get it but you know you don't get it instead shiloh ko gets the interception we're trying to take it Back and the lateral to Orlando Scandrick opens up new ventures. Orlando Scandrick, the clock is stopped. This has to be a score, or else it doesn't matter. Girly chasing, but Scandrick gets the last laugh into the end zone. Now, you guys might have noticed that this was actually my play. If you guys remember, top 10 plays of the week was all of my plays for almost, you know, more than half the year. So I only included one of my plays, this is the only play that made it. Otherwise, all everyone else's plays. I just, you know, thought it was a really cool play, and I thought it was worth up being in there. Now we move on to play number six, center of attention. Watch this screen pass going nowhere, getting blown up. But then Ryan Khalil, the unlikely hero, he's taken off. Not only did he recover the fumble, he is going all the way to big man in the end zone. This guy's almost 300 pounds, and he chugged about seven. 78 yards after the recovery it's one thing to get it it's another thing to get the touchdown now these plays are very hard to order guys we want to play number nine dust it off and try again like this one this is such a good play quarterback falls down gets back up why not squeeze it in there that's Le'Veon bell with the ball Whoop! breaking ankles Le'Veon bell and the game is tied at 35 all so all these top five plays are all number one plays. They were all previous number one plays. It was really hard for me to order them. So what I'm going to do is put a poll at the end of the video. And I'm going to let you guys vote on which one of these top five plays you guys thought was the best. Because, you know, my ordering is not really the official ordering. So you guys' poll might as well be the official ordering. But this is what we have for now to work with, including this play number four. Mega shocker. Onside kick. You're down four. You need this. You don't get it. But your opponent overthinks the situation. Calvin Johnson with the ball. It's time to make moves. Broken tackle. And Calvin Johnson. Oh, baby. This one's going for the lead. How could you even duplicate a play like that? You just can this is just a play that happens every like once every blue moon pretty much like Haley's comet might happen more often than a play like this two broken tackles down four that's ball game instead he's up by three now play number three flying ryan fourth down ryan Tannehill. play action down to the ground he goes he got demolished but he's back on his feet with the ball in his hands back juking he's got the first down but that's not all he's 
chugging and he's free for a touchdown. Ryan Tannehill for play number three. Now, when I originally did this play in the top 10 plays of the week episode, I called him Phillip Rivers. I saw the Chargers jersey. I thought it was Rivers. It's actually Ryan Tannehill. And I thought I was like, oh, Rivers is so slow. But still, the fact that a quarterback did this is so impressive. That's play number three. Speaking of quarterbacks doing very impressive things, we move on to play number two, the White Mamba. Did you ever think that would be the name we gave to Matt Stafford? Well, it might be after this play. It's a tie game. Under two minutes to go. Matt Stafford, ball in his hand, leaves the pocket, crosses the line, and now he's got to make moves. Stafford. Oh, the little stutter step right there. It's so slow, but it's so majestic. Number nine. All the way. Last man down to the ground. And Matt Stafford. Stafford, the most unlikely candidate. This guy's a little bit athletic, but is he really capable of playing like that? All these plays were so fun to look through. I want to thank you guys for submitting all your plays, for showing so much support for the series all year long, for liking the videos, and, you know, helping this series be what it was. I can't do any of this without you guys. So I want to thank you guys. And now we move on to play number one. A key to leave. What a user pick crossing fields. But it's not about picks. It's about touchdowns. And a key to leave. The only way to make that happen was to jump over a well, about six foot human being in Drew Brees. And a key to leave just did that. How? Oh, man. Oh, man. That's just nasty. It's one thing if you dive down to the ground. But a key to leave just literally hurdled a human being and that's play number one of the year like i said that's my unofficial order the poll is up there you guys vote and one more time thank you guys for your support and i can't wait to bring this series back for madden 17 so leave a like on this video if you enjoyed it subscribe for more top 10 plays of the year and next time we'll be doing it in madden 17 i can't wait to see you guys there